Okay, hey everyone. So today I uh, just literally just finished this thing. So uh, you might be wondering, what is that? Um, so let me tell you about some of the problems we here at, we have here at the cubicle. I have to make a lot of magnetic cubes, and even at seven hours a day, I am having trouble keeping up. So by making tools with our brains, we can solve problems. And if you really think about it, I told some people this during a tour, um, what is Cubicle Labs all about? We forget about magnets, all of that. In itself, magnets was an approach to solving problems, uh, bad turning, all that. Everything is just problem solving. And if you think really hard about your problems, you can solve them. So uh, this thing is designed to open edges, um, specifically Volk edges. And uh, if we can open them faster, it currently it hurts our fingers. Um, the pro shop's helping me out. But if we could do a tool to do it better, then life improves for us and it makes us get it out faster for you. The, the consumers. So it, I had a lot of versions of this. This is the first version. As you can see, the cantilevers broke. It was really thin. Uh, not a good version. Uh, the second version, I uh, beefed up the pieces a little bit. I made them thicker, uh, more robust, but the, the cantilevers, they weren't strong enough. So I beefed up the cantilevers. Um, I added a little silicone grip for the piece for the cantilever arms to grip the pieces and then I made the thing really really beefy I added uh, less it's less prone to stress fractures and places for my fingers um, and let me just show you the jaws so when I pull the trigger um, if you take engineering courses you can learn about the powerful strength of cantilevers which is how bicycle brakes uh, people exert several hundreds of newtons as they ride bikes really fast because if you think about it if someone weighs like 200 pounds and they're going 20 miles an hour stopping them takes a lot of force but cantilevers exert enough force to stop the bicycle and if you if you take physics and you take uh, engineering courses you learn about really cool stuff like uh, cantilevers so I really hope I can get this to work on camera um, I uh, tested a Volk edge and it didn't work this is still uh, in progress. I still need another version. I think um, it's heavier nylon line, but you can see the jaws contract as I pull the trigger. And uh, it's the same principle behind bicycles. So, there. And uh, this is uh, a cube style 3x3 edge. Uh, it's not held together as strong as the Volk. Uh, like I said, this doesn't work on the Volk quite yet, but eventually we're gonna get there and we can help everyone because. Uh, it'll help us, pro shop, and you, the consumer. So, um, in theory, you put it in between there with one hand, and then with the other hand, you pull the trigger to tension the cantilevers, and then you just split it. Okay. There, it works. Do you see how it split the edge? And then it just comes, and then oh, I dropped it. There you have split pieces, and if I can get this to work, I'm gonna order, uh, this is currently six pound fishing line. Um, that means it supports like six pounds of weight, I think. I really don't fish often, so I don't know, but it was the strongest that Walmart had. Um, I'm gonna go online and get like 20, they even have like really, really heavy weight fishing line. And if I use that, I might be able to get enough force to open a vault piece, and then everyone will benefit, and that'll be great. Um, so yeah, that's this thing. Um, the next version's gonna work, um, hopefully. Um, I'm gonna end this video by saying another really, really big thank you to my Patreon. Like, all of my patrons who have helped me out. I, I got the microphone in, I checked the tracking. Um, I think I'll be doing an unboxing video, followed by a tutorial for one of my most esoteric methods, uh, NMCTLS, which is non-matching uh, CT last slot, which is you do an FMC, you get two by two by three with oriented edges, and then you do random one by one by three blocks, and then you just solve everything. I actually did this at Indiana to get my 36 mean. Um, I officially average 36 
uh, like mid 30s in FMC. And I'm gonna tell you about this method that is extremely advanced with the new microphone that everyone purchased. And I really, really appreciate all my Patreon um, patrons helping me out. And I'm gonna give a shout out to some of uh, them who went above and beyond the call of duty uh, in my next video. So as always, thank you for listening and hopefully I can get this tool working soon for everyone.